any questions that any of the panelists have to each other and that you would want to have some response? I would actually like to just share a story. Sure. Uh, especially about Akadru. It's about my son. My son's 10. And uh, he's a regular user of Akadru. Mm -hmm. And uh, unlike what the platform actually promises of you know, projects, degrees, and everything, he just uses it because it's a curated platform. He just uses it because the person at the other end who's curating the whole thing is someone who has taken care to ensure that it's a safe platform. Um, he doesn't understand a lot of the articles, but there are enough and more videos that he can see. And that mix allows him to actually get a very good understanding of things that he really wants to know. Um, the other thing that has helped him is the interest cloud because the interest cloud, he's interested in technology. A lot of the stuff that is there is something which he kind of enjoys because he has no agenda. He starts out with something and then that leads him to a rabbit hole into something else. But because it's on the platform and it's curated, it allows me the comfort of knowing that it is uh, curated and not something that I wouldn't want my son to see. The alternative to that is that he goes out onto the internet and then does stuff which is a little scary given the environment that we are in and that is where I really see this platform being a way to increase curiosity for people of all ages. But I just wanted to share this simply because um, we have been talking a lot about people in class 11th and 12th and colleges and everything. I just think that this platform has a much broader appeal right from a 10, 12 year old, anyone who can actually see videos at any given age, even if they can read, not read, doesn't matter. If you can see a video, um, today it's in English, but tomorrow in all the vernacular languages, whichever language, as long as you can see a video, I think you can use this platform. Um, and that I thought was something that I should share. So that, that's all that I wanted to say. Thanks for the I am with you, Nathan, Nathan, sir, on that because uh, I will totally agree. You know, this is uh, a perspective from a parent as well that we just heard and it is so enriching. We've had perspectives from all the experts, such significant position holders in the education space. We are so glad that all of you joined us uh, for the launch. And uh, I was very elated uh, with the whole idea that everybody is so progressive out here. And... Uh, we actually came up to know that people are so open for the multidisciplinary approach. Online education is, of course, has been there in for some time. Uh, but people are not just now wanting to wear straight jackets. It's now fashion of, you know, tailored jacket now. <laughs> people should be wearing tailored jackets today. Uh, that is what we'll go ahead with. And uh, I believe, uh, you know, Technology definitely cannot, uh, you know, replace the teachers. But if the technology goes into the hands of the right teachers, the uh, it can be transformational experience for the students. And if a platform like Akadru uh, can do it, uh, why not? We just need a little mindset change. We can have more investments going into such projects. And I'm sure uh, we are just not looking at Akadru's success. We are looking at a better, more satisfied world where they see their interest being you know actualized to their truest potential thank you so much all of you to have joined us uh, we wish the Akadu team all the very best thank you to each one of you thank all you so well. much thank you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you all thank you all thank you, all. Thank you. Thank you.